In the next 10 days, Democrats in Washington will try and jam through a massive government takeover of health care. It would raise taxes, slash Medicare benefits, and destroy American jobs. It would put federal bureaucrats in charge of medical decisions that should be made by patients and doctors, and it must be stopped. The American people have said loudly and clearly that they do not want this job-killing government takeover of care. They want us to start over with a clean sheet of paper and a step-by-step -step approach focused on lowering costs for families and small businesses. But President Obama and Speaker Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid refuse to listen to the American people. For them, health care reform has become less about the best reforms and more about what best fits Washington knows best mentality. Less about helping patients and more about scoring political points. This is no idle observation. I've witnessed it firsthand. You see, two Januaries ago, I was sworn into office as an independent conservative Democrat. But like so many Americans, I became increasingly concerned that the policies being pushed by Democrats in Washington were dangerous for our country and out of step with our values. Instead of working across the aisle and focusing on creating jobs, Democratic leaders pressed ahead with their partisan, big government agenda of taxing, spending, and borrowing from our children and grandchildren. The trillion dollar stimulus, the cap and trade national energy tax, I voted against them. Still, even as Democrats lost their way, I held out hope that things would be different with health care reform, but I was wrong. Even as public opposition continued to rise, Democrats refused to let up, stuffing these bills with sweetheart deals for lawmakers and giveaways to Washington's special interests. Given all that's at stake, I realized that being a voice of dissent and a vote of conscience was not enough. Shortly before Christmas, after much thought and prayer, I decided to align myself with House Republicans who have stood on principle to fight this big government agenda and offer better solutions to the challenges facing our country. Republicans understand that the right way to fix health care is by a step-by-step -step approach focused on lowering costs. 